Hello, my name is Claire, and I am the founder of Student RDH, the Dental Hygiene Board's review online course for the national exam or local anesthesia exam. Today, we have a mini review with a topic that is very important because a lot of students confuse the two. First, it is related to oral pathology that we have in Student RDH, and let's dive right into it. Mucosil versus granula. Mucosia and granula are similar, first of all, because they have the same origin. They are caused because there's a gland and there's a duct, and the saliva is supposed to flow like that to the opening outside. But it's something happens and the duct gets blocked because of a stone or because of many other reasons, while the saliva has nowhere to go but just to flow outside. And because of this flowing of the mucin in the surrounding tissue, you will see a dome-shaped swelling. And this dome-shaped swelling will be soft, also movable, because there's not really anything inside. And this is a very important keyword. It's going to be blue or just dark in color. And let me just use this blue highlighter so we can just visualize this and memorize it better. Now let's look at why they're different. A mucosil is on the lower lip usually. Not always, it can be on other areas where there's accessory gland ducts, such as the palate or the tongue, but most of the time if you see it on exam, usually they would pick the keyword lower lip. And they're smaller, few millimeters, or it stays on the 1.5 centimeter. So let's see here, mucosal in blue again because it's supposed to be darker and you can see this over here. And let's look at this guy and this guy. I chose the pink color on purpose because of fibroma, which is a scar tissue like you would get if you fall or you have an injury. This pink is a characteristic of fibroma versus a dark color is mucosal. Also, you can see that it is slightly transparent because there's fluid inside. Now let's look at the ranula. Ranula is large, first of all, and keyword, floor of the mouth. Can we see the picture over here? Floor of the mouth, big, darker color, perfect. Well, this is caused because they're sublingual and submandibular glands, and their ducts, the opening are somewhere right here under the tongue. That's why the swelling occurs in this area. So now I hope we understood what a mucosil is and a ranula is. Let's just take one more example just to make sure that we understand it once and for all. So here, which one is the ranula? You probably already know. This one, the big one that's under the tongue. And the small one, that is a mucosil. I hope this has been helpful and that you understand finally what a runola is, what a mucosia is. Please visit studentrdh.com. Here you can do the free trial. You can look at our blogs because we have a lot of mini reviews. You can also sign up for local anesthesia or the national board review packages. Thank you and hope to see you soon.